Hi, my name is Phil Newman. I'm a program manager on Office 365, and I want to introduce Threat Intelligence. Office 365 Threat Intelligence is about creating actionable insights from the intersection of threats in your organization and Microsoft's intelligence security graph. How are we doing it? First, we're building a set of threat analytics that cluster events into campaigns and let you search for threats on users and files. Second, we're making sense of your threat data by leveraging Microsoft's cloud and endpoint infrastructure and our team of cyber hunters who create intelligence from the attacks we observe in Office 365. Last, we're creating a set of task-oriented remediation workflows to help you recover from attacks when they happen. Now I'm gonna show you some of our threat intelligence features in the Security and Compliance Center. We're starting with the Threat Dashboard. In the Threat Dashboard, we have a number of widgets to help you understand the threat landscape for your organization. At the top here, we have some threat detections over time, some aggregated numbers on them. So we can see here, we've blocked some number of threats, but we also have metrics on what are the threats that were removed after delivery. We find that these ones are particularly interesting because they represent the most risky emails to users in your organization. We also have some widgets on what are the top malware families detected, for threats targeted at your organization, where do we see them originating from in the world? We've got some widgets to launch you into threat investigations to see what were those messages removed after delivery or to find messages for a specific user who might be compromised. We also have some links into some security trends as well as some global stats on what we're observing worldwide in Office 365. Next, I wanna show you our Threat Explorer. The Threat Explorer is an interactive reporting and investigation experience to get more details on threats in your organization. The view that we're starting with here is a view on malware over time clustered by malware family. And if I zoom in here, you'll get to see a lot more details as we get more granular with the data. So I'll zoom into the time range from October 31st till November 4th. And what you see now is a lot more details on this one week period, actually a four day period, where there are some threats. And you can actually see the peaks every day from the campaigns as they happen. And you can see that some of the campaigns go on for days and days, but some other ones, like these ones on the second and third, come up and start and finish in one day. If you want to know more about what are these threats, we've got some information down here on what are the top threats. So if I click into Nemucod, you can see we know that Nemucod is a type of malware that often downloads credential stealers or ransomware. And if you want to know even more about it, you can click in to get some technical details on it. One thing that's really interesting here is that our teams of analysts know that Nemucod often downloads Locky ransomware. And if you want to know more about Locky ransomware, which is the real risk here, you can click in to see one of these articles on Locky ransomware. And we'll give you information like Locky ransomware uh, asks for between a half a Bitcoin and two Bitcoins if it's successful. And that when it's done encrypting files on your user's machines, it replaces the desktop background to look something like this. So without even having to ask any of your users for files or looking at any samples, you can understand what is the risk with this Nemucod uh, malware. I also mentioned earlier that we can look at what are those messages that were removed after delivery. So here I'm gonna go add a filter that says, show me only those messages that were caught and removed after delivery. And now you see we get a much different shape uh, in, in the campaigns that we're seeing. And we actually get a very different list of top threats. The next thing I wanna show you and last thing I wanna show you is our integration that we've done with Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection is able to find anomalies and behaviors on end users' machines. Here we see a number of alerts on one machine uh, and one of them is saying Office did something suspicious. It dropped a portable executable file. And looking at that timeline, we can actually see, oh, here's one of the events where Office did something suspicious and we see, oh, there was this email you can come over into the Threat Explorer in Office 365 and see were there any other messages with a similar attachment. So here I'm looking at that list and they were blocked because Windows shared the signal that that file was suspicious after it detected it on that machine. That was an introduction to threat intelligence in Office 365. Thanks for watching.